I'm James Arbuthnot, and I've just stopped the position of being chair of the Defence Select Committee. Uh, in the House of Commons, I decided to support the renewal of the Trident submarines, um, but agonised over it because of the strength of the arguments against, as well as the strength of the arguments for. Uh, the arguments uh, against the nuclear deterrent seem to me to be that it is becoming increasingly difficult to see the relevance of a weapon which, in theory, can never be used. It's only uh, if it's used that it shows that the entire purpose of it has failed. Um, those who are deterred by our nuclear weapon in the UK would presumably also be deterred by the French nuclear weapon and by the United States nuclear weapon. And so at a time of uh, reducing defence budgets, to spend this proportion of uh, our defence budget on a weapon that in theory ought never to be used seems to be a bit difficult to sustain. And yet, as against that, uh, at a time when North Korea is getting close to having a usable nuclear weapon, um, it seems an odd time to go unilateral. And so there is a message that you send by abandoning your largest weapon, which is that you're not prepared to stand up for your own values and for uh, the things you want to defend. And I think when South Africa got rid of its nuclear weapons, it lost considerable sway in the world. And so, on balance and with much reluctance, I voted for the renewal of the Trident submarine. And I still, I still would do so today, <coughs> but with increasing reluctance.